Australia is the most densely uh, populated franchise country in the world. We take franchising on more than the Yanks do, believe it or not. Uh, every Australian, part of their dream is that they want to own a business, and the best way to do that is through franchising. It's not a set and forget system. You can't buy a franchise and, and um, ex you know, put a manager in and walk away. You actually have to be involved in the day-to-day -day running of the store. The risks in franchising are, are reversed compared to an independent small business by and large. So I think franchising will continue to grow and it'll get into different business sectors. I think uh, when you first start out, maybe there's some unrealistic expectations about it might be easier or a lifestyle choice. But the reality about it is in a franchise model, it's a lot of hard work. If you've never been in business before, franchising is probably the safest way to go. Uh, people who are fairly naive, business operators need some help coming into a business where you don't have to relearn the mistakes that, uh, that someone else has made. So that's, that's what franchising is all about. For anybody looking to buy a franchise, it would be find something that they like to do. So if you're going to be a franchisee for the next five or ten years, choose something that you can really see yourself doing and enjoying. A national franchise brand, if you can walk in there with confidence from day one and people are going to know who you are, what you stand for, and it'll actually just give you that little bit of an edge when it comes to building your business. Buying a franchise really takes that risk out of it because there's a proven product that's already successful with consumers and the business model and the marketing strategy have already got a great track record out there in the market.